If you've been reading the posts in this series and watching the vlogs, you know that we're talking about faith. And I know that perhaps some of you don't believe in Jesus, but you're willing to give faith in Him a chance. And I want you to know how much I appreciate your watching these vlogs, reading the posts, and considering what we talk about here. I appreciate very much your interest in these things, and I appreciate your openness and your willingness to really examine the claims of Jesus and give faith a chance. Perhaps some of you are believers in Jesus, but you'd like to see your faith in Him grow and grow, and I trust these posts and these vlogs will contribute to that end. Thank you to you also for watching the vlogs and reading the posts. We too appreciate your interest in these things. Today, we're taking a look at the fourth sign that is recorded in John's Gospel. It's found in John chapter 6, and it's the feeding of the 5,000. Jesus is a popular figure here. The text tells us that large crowds are following him. And Jesus notices the large crowd, and he says to Philip, Where are we to buy bread for these people to eat? Think about that. Jesus cares about the basic needs of these people. His heart goes out to them. He doesn't want them to go away hungry. And so he asks Philip this question, where are we going to find enough food for these people to eat? Now, he knows what he's going to do. The text tells us that he asks the question of Philip, who is one of the twelve, in order to test him. I suppose he wants to see what is the level of Philip's faith in him. And Philip responds, does he pass the test? <laughs> Philip responds, six months wages would not buy enough bread for each of them to get a little. No, he doesn't pass the test. He doesn't believe that Jesus has the power to feed these people. He doesn't even think about that possibility. Well, Andrew, another one of the 12, comes to Jesus with a little boy who has a sack lunch. And Andrew says to him, here's a boy here who's got five barley loaves and two fish, but what are they among so many people? It's interesting to me that those who were closest to Jesus had some faith in him, but their faith in him was limited to an extent. When Jesus asks, how are we going to feed this throng of people, two of his closest disciples don't have a clue as to how it's going to be done. Well, here is what happens next. Jesus tells the people to sit down. Then he takes the loaves and he gives thanks for them, the boys sack lunch. And then he distributes the food to those who were seated, also the fish. All of them ate, and verse 11 tells us they ate as much as they wanted. And when they were satisfied, when their bellies were full, Jesus instructed the twelve to collect the leftovers. And you know what? They picked up twelve basketfuls of leftover food. Then the record tells us that when the people saw the sign that Jesus had performed, the miraculous feeding of the 5,000, they all began to say, this is indeed the prophet who is to come into the world. They were convinced to some extent, weren't they, that Jesus was a very special person. Now I've got a question for you to think about until our next vlog, and that is, what evidence do you see in this text that a genuine miracle occurred? It is a bit fantastic to think that Jesus fed such a great number of people with just five loaves of bread and two fish, right? So, what evidence do you see here that John is telling us the truth that a genuine miracle occurred? We'll talk about that in our next vlog in this series.